Hello everyone, your Glimmer Gang editor Blake here with a snippet from our latest podcast. So without further ado, everyone take it away. Real quick before we jump into uh, Lorcana Week, does everyone just want to go around and say what they're, now that we've seen all the cards for set one, what two colors they're most excited to build? Let's do it. Eric, because you're in the top left, we'll start with you. That's me, I'm top left. Um, uh, Steel and Emerald. All right. Oh, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's going to be it. Yeah, at least I got to go first. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask Aaron next because Liam looks like he's having a crisis on his own. <laughs> <laughs> he's like now dive. He's like knee deep into the art on the art. Uh, <laughs> I, I really want to build a steel ruby deck and see if I can make that work. That just seems like fun i don't know why but it sure. just does i think it does it would give you the Alan? i think it would give you the biggest removal package mm -hmm. yeah in the, in yeah. the game yeah. yeah plus it's got the the massive challenging package with the um mm -hmm. Ufasa, tinkerbell aladdin and mulan like, mm, yeah. yeah and the untapped cards like gross mm -hmm. you would very much be able to stop your opponent winning Winning yourself would be the would be the tricky yeah, bit with, with those colors. I think. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Liam, do you have I one? I, I've been interested in that for a while. Liam, do you have one for us? Any two colors you want? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's so many things that I'd like to play. I, you know, for me, I just I gravitate towards flavor. I gravitate towards feel. I just love. Since the very beginning, since we've done our art deep dives, I love Amber and I love Sapphire because it's where you see the art, the, the ink identity so well in the art. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick Sapphire Amber just because I like the colors. Probably won't be competitive, but. <laughs> what? Sapphire, Sapphire Amber, 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 Amber Sapphire Princesses is going to be sick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, I just tried those nuts. That's what I meant. Liam's princess deck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for those two colors. Cool, Jaunty, uh, where your, yours were stolen. No, uh, well, actually, I mine are emerald steel, not oh. steel emeralds. Oh, you know, oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's got, it's got a it's got a stronger emerald base. Yeah, <laughs> my the main, I just I love all the emerald stuff that's just like shutting the shutting the opponent down. I just it's gross and I love it. Um, but also, much like Liam, I kind of want to play a bit of everything. But I'm but I'm very aware that product scarcity. And then, and therefore, then cost of singles on secondhand market. It's going to be difficult to build multiple good competitive decks. Mm -hmm. So when I say Emerald Steel, that's the one I want to bring out against people who know what they're doing. But I'm all, but I also want to build an Aladdin deck that I can just play with friends, or you know, and I and I want to build a. Well, they won't uh, be your friends for much deck, longer and... after you play that deck against them. But no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying Aladdin as in heroic outlaw. Okay. I'm saying Aladdin as in all the green and red things that have Aladdin on them. Like I'm talking stolen scimitar. Like I'm okay. just like the, okay. I just want to build a thematic. Hey, here's my Aladdin deck. Do you want to play this Frozen deck I've got? Like they're not necessarily going to be particularly powerful. So that just we can sit down and people can look at the art and just get get interested in the game. Th those are the things I'm looking forward to building the most. But if I'm sitting across somebody and I want to win, I'm going Emerald Steel. Awesome. Well, Blake, what do you got for us? What are your two colors you want? Uh, uh, definitely Sapphire. Uh, I, both sides said uh, Sapphire uh, with the ramp and item slingers. I want to build decks around those. So figuring out which colors go uh, best with that. So probably probably steal for ramp and i'm still working on the color that goes best with the items um uh, but i am also working on a fun little ruby amethyst uh deck that i'm trying out so, beautiful when we get into that sort of fun stuff um uh i'll share more details on that <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious. Well, for me, I want to do Sapphire Emerald. I feel like ramp plus uh, control. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I want to play around with it and I want to see 
what I can do uh, to even things out and like, be able to get cards out quickly, but also control what my opponent is doing. I feel like that's could be the best of both worlds. Uh, I think it's to take some testing to figure out. Uh, but moving on to Sean, what do you got, buddy? Um, I've gotten a chance to test out a lot of different colors. I think what I'm most excited to lean into now that we have everything is uh, I want to do Steel Amber uh, Musketeers just because it looks like a lot mm, of fun. Steel yeah. Amber Musketeers, uh, Bodyguard, Challenger, nonsense. It just looks like a lot of fun. Awesome. Spencer? I was so oh. hyped for that deck until like, we saw Donald Duck and it just, I don't know why, but I, it just wasn't. I love that art yeah. so much. It, yeah, I just as a card, I was just I was really hoping for like a, and I was hoping for another one as well, like four musketeers. Right. But, um, but I think yeah, with the bodyguard package, it's it's probably something uh, good there. Yeah, I'm I'm stoked um for that as well. I just don't think we're we have enough musketeers to really develop it. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm looking forward to like it in the future. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Sugi, uh, what do you got for us? I'm surprised no one said this one. I'm really interested in Emerald Amethyst. So you've got Control, you've got Draw, you've got really great threats early game with Pascal and Baby Maleficent. You've got mid-range threats with Flynn and Jasper. Um, some of your bigger bodies are going to be perfect for sitting down on Cheshire Cat and Cusco. You can use uh sork maleficent to draw hans to quest like you have so many tools if you want you can also pivot to like a mickey brooms package mid game and then try and shift up to a dr facilier right after that so you just keep recurring over and over and over and over and over um there's there's a lot of really gnarly tools that it, it's basically going to force your opponent to find answers to your threats you're going to have a ton of consistency with friends on the other side. You've got the Queen. You've got Ursula's Cauldron and Maleficent, Sork Maleficent to draw. Um, you've got Weird Removal in Cheshire and uh, Cusco. Like, you don't get to control it, but your opponent still has to commit. And, and how much better do they get once, once Facilier is on the board as well, right? Yeah, just, just feel bad about, oh, hey, I'm going to quest with my two and three lore batteries. Okay, cool. I've challenged them. Your card gets banished. My card goes back to my hand. I'll just recast it. That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Um, you also have access to Genie for bounce. You have Mother Knows Best for bounce. You can go into Lady Tremaine uh, action recursion. You can go into the Reckless Loops with Silver and Iago. Like, there are so many points to pivot. But the big thing is uh, quest denial and card consistency. Like you just have so many ways to flexibly control what's in your hand. And when so many people are like, oh, I'm going to run out of cards. Yeah, Amethyst doesn't care about that problem. That's yeah. your problem. Yeah. That's a you not problem. Amethyst. That's not, not a me problem. problem. Yeah. yeah. So like, I think most players who are going to run control are probably going to look into this color scheme just because when you're playing control you need options and the best card draw is in amethyst like point for point so being able to keep your hand full and keep your board full very spicy very very spicy awesome well certainly uh not last or least i don't even know the phrase anymore it's <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> last but not least <laughs> sorry about that chris uh what are two colors are you looking forward to playing together yeah, like we discussed earlier, probably Ruby and Emerald. Um, again, this like disruption, lore disruption. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited about exploring that and seeing how it goes. Awesome. Well, we I, are going I didn't to... Go to... Did I, I skip didn't... you? <laughs> yes. So, 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 so he started least. it. That's the thing. He, yeah, he, okay, that's he right. He did not last. <laughs> at least. I, um... Yeah, I was, I was crossing my fingers so hard because nobody had said it until but finally Chris did. Uh, the <laughs> Ruby Emerald. I'm dubbing it Lore Canta. Yeah, literally just because it sounds like just the most degenerate deck possible. Yeah. Awesome. Like like Mill. Like like Mill and Magic, you know? <laughs>
If you enjoyed that, please be sure to check out the full episode, and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any further updates from the Glimmer Gang. Thank you for being a fantastic part of our community, and until next time, Glimmer on.